So my name is Ethan Osmondson. I'm the Director of Operations for the University of Minnesota Solar Vehicle Project. Uh, right behind me here we have Freya. Uh, we just raced Freya in the American Solar Challenge, uh, where we went from Independence, Missouri down to Santa Fe, New Mexico, uh, all on the road, on the highways. Uh, we also did the Formula Sun Grand Prix right before the American Solar Challenge. So that's a track-based event uh, where we were racing on the racetrack against other universities like uh, Michigan, Stanford, MIT, they all have solar car teams. And we took first place in that race. We're really proud of our performance this summer. So we've been around as a team since 1991 and we've built 14 cars in that time. Uh, generally we build a new car every two years and then race it both in the American Solar Challenge and the World Solar Challenge. Uh, the team right now has about 50 active members uh, contributing both on the engineering and the business side of the team. We bring about 25 of them on our race crew, so we evaluate uh, that race crew based on how efficient they are driving the car and then four of those uh, people actually get to drive the car during the race. People are always interested in the top speed of the car. We've taken it up to 65 during the race, uh, but the race actually sets a speed limit of 65, so we weren't able to go faster even though we really wanted to. Uh, we're thinking it can get probably up to 80 or so. The panels on Freya are normalized. Uh, we have that feature so we can stop at the end of the day and tilt our panels up to face the sun and optimize our uh, solar intake. So it's very expensive to build a solar car as you might imagine. Uh, a lot of our funding does come from our corporate sponsors just like Everlight. Uh, it was definitely a challenge this year with COVID. A lot of companies uh, were kind of down in their financials so they weren't able to sponsor us this year. Uh, but Everlight was and we were really appreciative of that uh, $20,000 they donated us. It was a huge boost, uh, got us through the American Solar Challenge and made sure we had the funds uh, to make sure Freya was ready to race this summer. So obviously we want to win, win races, that's always fun to do, uh, but the main mission of the team is educating young, young engineers and promoting the future of sustainable energy. Uh, so bringing our car to schools, out to sponsors like Everlight, uh, we get to meet with the community and teach people that solar is a really, uh, it's the energy of the future, it's certainly uh, able to be used in a lot of unique places, on your home, on your car maybe in the future as well. Uh, so we're there uh, promoting the future of sustainable energy and educating young engineers.